In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Copilot for DevOps Plus to enhance your productivity by generating and inserting detailed work items directly into your smart doc. We'll guide you through a simple step-by-step -step process to ensure you can create comprehensive and well-structured documents with ease. Here we see in this BRD that there is an epic that's been added called Security Application. If you right-click on the work item, you will then see the Copilot for DevOps menu appears. You can also select Copilot for DevOps from the taskbar at the top. There are many options to choose from. In this example, we'll be looking at the illicit function. The illicit functionality will take my given input and it will enable me to generate a work item of my choosing. In this case, I would like to generate a title and description for a new feature. I can select the fields that I would like to be included in the output and then generate. The system has now generated a number of work items that I can review and see if they meet my specifications. I can select any or all of these work items and if I like what I see, I can go ahead and create a linked work item. I can also determine which link type to use when creating the linked work item. And just like that, the features have been added to our document. Now I'll select this feature and call on my trusty co-pilot to generate some user stories. You'll notice here that you can choose from either a minimal, moderate, or abundant number of records. I'll go with minimal and the system generates these work items for me. If I want to, I can select all of these work items and bring them into my document. And here you go. We have our user stories that have been added to the document. And, and now I would like to use Copilot to generate some test cases. It's the same idea with these. I have the input selected. I choose what I would like the system to generate. Let's see what the system is able to come up with. The system has now generated a description as well as test steps including the actions and expected results. I can choose as many or as few of these test cases as I would like to. I can also copy this information to paste elsewhere. In this case, I will go ahead and create a linked work item. And you see by default, when creating test cases, the tested by link type is selected. By turning the document view on, you can see all of the details here for this document. If I want to open any of these work items in the Azure DevOps standard window, I can right click view and edit and then open work item. When I open this work item, I see a tag here that says Copilot for DevOps, which tells me that this specific work item was generated using the AI tool. In this tutorial, you've seen how you can utilize Copilot for DevOps Plus to quickly and easily generate your documents, saving valuable time and ensuring accuracy during your project lifecycle. Thank you very much for watching.